Looks like a great day here in central Ontario to go geocaching. So let's go get a cache. Let's get going. Sometimes when you're looking for a cache, it is kind of neat to be in the northern areas where you get snow because you can just follow somebody's footprints and they point right at the cache. <laughs> cache right there, easy to find, easy to see. Maybe not so much in the, in the summer, but uh, now it's just a matter of getting it out. That doesn't sound like wood. I think we got her. Wow, look at that. Ooh, nice. And check this out. I thought this was all just a replacement log. Log book number three, log book number two, and the original log book from when it was placed June 15th, 2001. This is a treasure trove to find an original log book like this, which has all the different stories in it. July of 2001, I trained search dogs in this forest. So this was an ideal cache, my second one. August 2001, about 11.30, I'm all the way from Alberta, Medicine Hat. A warm day today. One look and I found the cache. Oh, Res 2100. We know him from uh, the Golden Horseshoe Club. Ralph, Tyler, and Christy, March 15th, 2003. Pretty cool. Neat to see when you, you find somebody you know in an old logbook that long. Wow. Nice. Hey, look. We found a trackable that's a dinosaur. We're going to take it back for Cassiosaurus. Many of you may know him through Instagram. Didn't know what to expect with this cache, but I found it. I don't know how I found it, but it just sounded cool. Look, There's it's an, an ATM in the middle of the woods. It's an ATM. Look, put your card in. Oh, great. There you go. Look at oh, that. That's cool. That's really cool. This is an amazing cache. Definitely, we're going to give this a favorite point. Yes, a favorite point from both of us. Well done. It's just cute. <laughs> Oh, it's a big one. Oh, look at that. It's not massively huge. Oh, and there's no lock. Again. But it's still big. Oh, look. Oh, look at it. You signed, the, it. you signed the lid. Ash Canada. Logged. And this cache, it's got poo in it. No, I'm not kidding. It's got poo. And also, duck, duck. Where's the goose? They ain't one. And for no other reason then, it was on the map and it was a large. And I'm gonna give this one a favorite point. It was fun. Are we there yet? Uh, not quite. Oh, okay, let's keep going. Holy doodle. 900 meters didn't look this far on the map. It's a challenge cache, and I found it. You're close, but not close enough. Yeah. We don't qualify yet. You have to get all a cash found in every county within the province of Ontario and we're a few short. We're close. So, but not close enough. <laughs> oh, we got work to do. Let's go.
Yep. Thank you. Nice. Well, we found it. A well sought after four and a half, three and a half that will help fill up our fizzy 81 grids. Yep, this logging this cache will give me my 15th grid. Congratulations. <laughs> All these things like webcams, fizzy grids, multis, larges, earth caches are all things that you can add to the game yeah, by right. looking for them. Yeah, it just adds another element to your fun game of geocaching. So, uh, how many larges do you have? Yeah. How many webcams? Um, are you searching for your fizzy grid? Do you got your first one? Let us know in the comments below the side games that you play with geocaching. Well, thanks for uh, joining us on this episode of Cache Canada. You didn't stump us this time. No, it's always nice to see a stump in the woods <laughs> like that. You know where the cache is. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Yeah, and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell. Ding dong! Where will geocaching take you? Let us know. Out in the woods on a snowy day. Yeah. Come back and see us. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.